What up, family? Good morning on this beautiful Monday, January the 24th, 2022. Guess what? This is the day that the Lord has made. We might well go ahead and rejoice and be glad in it. And if for some strange reason you ain't quite hit that prophetic pocket where you can rejoice and be glad in this beautiful day that God has granted you, guess what I want you to do? Shake, rattle, and roll that thing off. Drink a little Jesus juice because ain't nobody mad but the devil. The truth is, you know what? The devil might not even be mad because you always figured out a way to overcome and to fight through the things that you fight through. And the devil's like, I'm just sick of you because this, this one here ain't going to give up for nothing. And that's a good thing. But I wanted to talk to you about something that I've been resonating on and thinking on and meditating on. I actually, actually shared it last night uh, in one of our lives that we hosted. And it's about understanding you have to have pressure before the prize, okay? So God has set before us the prize in any area of our life. So when it comes to your physical health, when it comes to your mental health, when it comes to your emotional, your psychological, your financial health, when it comes to your success in those areas, when it comes to your greatness in those areas, there is a prize, meaning that there's an expected end. There's a goal. There's a there's a there's a place of fulfillment. There's a place of completion. There's a place of celebration. So so just wrap your mind around the fact that in every area of your life that you might be dealing with pressure in, you might be facing a lot of fights and you, you're being challenged and overwhelmed on every end. Those areas have prizes. They have ends. And your issues, the things that you're fighting, the things that you're dealing with, they don't necessarily have an end other than an expiration end, meaning that they're not going to last forever. So when you can wrap your mind around the fact that, OK, I have a prize, but there's always pressure before the prize. I mean, it's kind of like the pressure a grape has to go through before it becomes fine wine. The pressure a olive has to go through before you're able to just walk into a supermarket and buy olive oil. These things have to be pressed. They have to be squeezed. Literally, the life has to be pushed and pressed and squeezed out of them. Well, sometimes when you're going through on your job, when you're going through with a lack of uh, financial stability, when you're going through trying to figure out how you get your business off the ground, you're going through physically because every time you try to move forward, something happened with your body, you back at the doctor. All of these things are part of the press. When you seem like you got your body right and you got a couple dollars you're saving, one of them kids start calling or one of the siblings start acting up or one of the, one of the parents need you to show up for a couple months. It's always a press but the press is always before the prize so you can also look at it this way whenever i'm in a press the press is a sign or an indication that there's a pending prize so if i do not avoid the press if i do not deny the press but if i accept it and i confront it and i'm willing to lean into it and break through it and deal with it and grow from it i know what that press is going to lead me to the prize. And so I want you to take a few moments and just woo breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and just make the decision that, you know what? This Monday, January 24th, 2022, is the day that the Lord has made. I'm going to rejoice. I'm going to be glad in it. And I'm going to accept the press. Why am I going to accept the press? Because I know the press always becomes before the prize. Go get your prize, celebrate your wins, enjoy your success. And I'll see you at the top.